Every day I get comments from men who want to come to my page and tell me about how much better younger women are. This is just happens to be the comment from today. Pause to read. And this is my response. Pause to read. Do men not realize that men in their 20s have <laughs> tighter skin, <laughs> harder muscle, harder um, hairline in the place it's supposed to be, more energy, more stamina, more just youthful vibrancy. Do men not get that women can see the difference between a man in his 40s and 50s and a man in his 20s? I mean, it's a biological fact that testosterone plummets over the age of 35. And realistic data shows that half of all infertility cases are caused by the men. Ugh. And people will say, oh, well, you know, men love beauty and women love wealth and men who are older have wealth and all this other stuff. Look, come on, we're in the black community. Let's just really talk about it. The average black man doesn't have wealth and won't have wealth unless he's married. That The vast majority of black men who earn over six figures are gay. 80% of the heterosexual ones who earn over six figures worked in the military and are married. Only a small percentage of black men, I think it's like 7%, are able to reach six figures and be single. <laughs> and if women have our own money nowadays, then what is the benefit of being with an older man with and less than can't get back and can't get the blah? See, the thing is, women can admit, women can admit that there are benefits to being with a man who is more mature, more grounded, and more stable. But men pretend as if there's no benefits to being with a woman who has also lived. And you got to ask the question, what does it say about a man who will experience all of the benefits of life and living and then want to impose that onto a younger person and want a 20, somebody who's just coming out of their mother's house. They want a 20 something year old young lady to have 40 year old behavior when it was the heartache, it was the sexual experience, it was the traveling, it was the working and paying and rent, it was becoming an adult, it was adulting that made that woman more mature and a more viable mate. Look, we get it. People in their 20s are more vibrant. Yes. But there's also downfalls to being with people. Uh, uh, you know what? I, I'm going to have to do a part two. This is part two of why aren't we honest with men about men in their 20s. And so, yes, like if it's just superficially speaking, just on the surface, people in their 20s look better than the average person who is twice their age. Yes, and of course, there are some exceptions. However, when you're young, everything is in the place that it's supposed to be. Everything is just perfect and brand new. And speaking of brand new, let's talk about a person's development. Now, you're talking about getting a person fresh out of high school, fresh out of their parents' house, who hasn't had the chance to live yet. And I think that women are at least intuitive enough to know that if you get in the way of a person's development, they're going to resent you because they do not stay young forever. People grow up, they live, they learn, they, they exchange their youth for life experiences <laughs> like you did. And when they realize that you stunted their capacity for who or what or where it is that they could have gone and what it is that they could have been, they're going to resent you. They're going to wonder why you didn't give them the chance to ripen. They're going to have animosity towards you and then they're going to leave you. People in their 20s have the highest divorce rate. And then, so what happens is you get this mature man who has lived. He goes and he plucks this young person off of the tree when they're green and not ripe and ready yet and then he thinks that he can keep her sheltered and keep her away from from media and other people and etc and it just doesn't work that way people grow women grow and then they they see what it is like to be in an adult mind to be in an adult experience and when they realize that the most precious time of their life was squandered on a person who was able to live the most precious precious part of their life unfettered, they're going to have animosity towards you. 
far too many men don't think that women are human. They don't know and understand that women have life path, dreams, goals, etc. that have nothing to do with being of service to a man, being a maria maid. Mm. So when are we going to stop having these primitive conversations as if there are no benefits to being with a person that you can converse with and relate to, who has similar life experiences, who has lived and experienced life? Why is it that you want a person that has no knowledge of what it means to live? You remember what it was like in your 20s, the mental and emotional instability and the 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 being off kilter and just wanting to figure things out and not having it figured out yet and just feeling green and feeling ignorant. Let people grow.